ready for the most exciting fight sport in the world. Here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium, we have satellite link up to 168 countries and live internet streaming worldwide. <laughs> The champion, Boy Thai! The Hulk of 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 the To the Champion Muay Thai Four Man Tournament, presented to you by the Max Muay Thai Team every Saturday night, 6 p.m. Thai time on Amarin TV HD Channel 34. And your host for the day is Kai Wanawa, and I am Sam Max Muay Thai. สวัสดีคุณผู้ชมทางบ้านทุกท่านนะครับขอต้อนรับเข้าสู่รายการ The Champion Muay Thai ตั้งชื่อ18นาฬิกาแบบนี้นะฮะทางช่อง Amarin TV HD ช่องสามที่สี่และอยู่กับผมแห่กายวรวัตต่อเจริญสุขและพี่แซมแม็กซ์มวยไทยแล้วก่อนอื่นนะครับต้องขอขอบคุณน้ำแร่ธรรมชาติสลายช้าครับเอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับสัปดาห์นี้นะครับเป็นการชิงแชมป์รูปิกน้ำหนัก65กิโลกรัมนั่นเองครับ Raise yourself for seven fights of the unique three rounds of Max Muay Thai action. Today you are about to witness the 65 year old chairman Shana Chin, a four time fighter, battling it out for the ultimate price of 15,000 baht cash and the Shaman belt. Now let's see our tonight's lineup. Now, 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 let's see our tonight's lineup. Our first fight today is the first semi-final of the 65 year Cup Tournament Challenge We have Wu Kong, our call sign, Tung Jiu And his opponent in the red corner, Shikar Sikha Desha Jiu Second semi-final fight, we have Dao Tong, Dao Brat Saraka And his opponent, Yeo Dao Cho, Shak Choi Our third fight today is 60 year Cup, we have Mepu Choi, Malika Boi Jai Jiu from Laos And his opponent, Kong De To, Huay Rai from Thailand Fourth fight today is 51 kg of the Mueng Ubon Isan Tractor. The 51 kg of the champion, Anakun Atit IAT. Our fifth fight today is 58 kg of the victory, Sachin Muay Thai. And the 51 kg of the champion, Oka Atit IAT. And our sixth fight today is the final fight of the 65 kg of the champion, Shemajin, who will be the champion. Stay tuned to find out. The fourth fight of the six is the fourth fight of the champion, Shemajin. Our 7,052 kg of Yosemite, Sid Jamil. And his opponent in the red corner, that's how you call him. Who's up, guys? Don't forget, 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 Returning to the Champion Muay Thai Four Man Tournament in the first semi-final of the 65 kg Tournament Championship. Start with the first fight. Let's 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 start with the first fight. Representing Chanthaburi Province for ending out of Maha Thai Gym. He holds a professional record of 59 fights and 44 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Wu Kong, Abathal San Tung Gym. Representing Chanthaburi Province, let's see for Wukong, Abathar Sang Tung Jin. 
และในช่วงในมุมแดงครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดบุรีรัมย์สังกัดคายสิงหาเดชชาเทียมเจ้าของฉายาจอมูปราสาทหินครับ And this is Puerto Rican kind of representing Puri Ram Province, training out of Singhade Shajim. We professional records of 74 fights and 47 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for Shikhan Singhade Shajim. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Max Muay Thai Stadium, where we're all set for our champion four-man tournament. Four Thai fighters, 65 kilos of weight this week, fight out for 50,000 baht prize and the champion belt. This week's weight, as I said before, 65 kilograms. Fights number one and two are the semi-final fights. Fight number six sees the two semi-final winners fight off for the 50,000 baht prize. Introducing first, our first semi-finalist in the blue corner, Wukong Obator San Tung Jim. His real name, Chakon Sup Jakpong, is from Jantaburi to the east of Pattaya. 16 years of age, 165 centimeters tall. He's had 59 fights, 44 wins, three draws, 12 losses. His last three fights at max are points loss to Dio Sit Puta, a third round TKO win of a Pet X Sit Sandap, and a points win of a Sir Soban Kru. Trains and fights at the Mahat Thai Gym in Trap, where he's trained and managed by Bamlung Parsuk. His opponent in the red corner, Chakat Singh de Real name Jidasak Panapoy, from Buriram in northeast of Thailand, 24 years of age, 167 centimeters tall. He's had 74 fights, 47 wins, 3 draws, and 24 losses. His last four fights at max. A points lost to Wan Song Kran. Brooks. A second round TKO win over Daniel Morales from Brazil. A second round TKO loss to Berjan Poporsi from Belgium. And a points loss to Pet Narong Sotor Nyong Suk. Trying to fight for the single Tao Jin here in Pattaya. Trained by Tamrit Rit Sit or a man's by Jing Mac Muay Thai. Oh, Wukong changed his name. He used to be Sing Dom. I just, I just noticed that. Okay. Thanks for that. Anyway, apart from that, here who we is go. Your pick? All right. I want to know who you picked for the tournament. I want to know who you jinxed in this week. All right, everyone. What? what? Drum roll. It's Dab Tong. I know I told El Pupu that it was going to be Chakad, but I was threatened. The threat is no longer around me. So I'm picking Dab Tong. <laughs> Dab Tong, Dab Rat, Sir He'll Pernan be the winner. In the second semi final. He'll be the guy with that heavy weight of a curse around his neck. Can he break the curse? El Pupu, Johnny Beth picked him too. Oh! She's not coming in with some hard hands. But I do remember Sing Dong fighting a lot in the weekday. Yeah. He has a lot of power. But Chakart Chakart doesn't have the greatest chin. No. So that could make for uh, a tough night for the red corner, possibly. But he's obviously got to land that shot. Yeah. And he does have a tendency to fade a little bit. So if, if Chakart can hang in there, there's a so good chance Sing Dong will punch Chikart. himself out. You do need to pace yourself a bit in this tournament. Six rounds, potentially, Ooh. potentially eight rounds. Wow. If you have a dreaded draw, yes. any fight in a tournament here at Max, if it's a draw at the end of three rounds, there's a fourth deciding line. There has to be a winner. So there's a potential for an eight round tournament. And we talk about every week that style of being a clinch grinder to really yeah. get through a tournament, but then you also point out if you can have that one punch power. As if well. you can, if you can land it early on as well. And Sing Dom or Wukong Sing Dom's looking has for it that. here. He does have that type of power. And already he's backing up his opponent. Chakart might try and tie him up in the clinch there. Good low lock from Wukong. And you can do Wukong has a sort of Mike Tyson build about him. He's yeah. just made for power. Yeah, that stocky punches build. Oh, good right hand there, getting through again. Ooh. The cart going for the elbow. Anything? 
that will maybe potentially put off Oh a, my goodness, put, that was fancy. Put off a <laughs> puncher and he's an elbow. Yeah, it was very uh, impressive there. He almost attempted a cartwheel kick without the cartwheel. Yes! <laughs> There's another fighter whose name has gone from my head now, from Eminem Air. He used to be very good at them kind of techniques. Very flashy, jumping knee knockouts. End of round. Man! The champion, Muay Thai! Here we go, coming into the second round of our first semi final tonight. Yukong. Wukong, sorry. Orbitor. Sam. Jim from uh, Thailand in the, red, in the blue corner, Chakat Singh the Cha Jim in the red corner. Now, have you remembered the fighter's name from Eminem Air? If you do all the fancy no, techniques, no, I haven't. It's, it's bugging me. He, he was in Australia recently as well. For a little bit. Um, I mean, there were quite a few good fighters over the years. Eminem Air, Tap Out Tom. Uh, they had uh, John Hod, as you mentioned, Satam Far, Ramuban. This guy was a bigger guy. Um, it, I'll remember it at some point. I'll probably wake up at one in the morning. Probably. It was so exciting. Mate, <laughs> wake the neighbors up. So can't I push him forward a big knee? Yeah. That's another good way to stop a puncher. If you can really slow him down with good yeah. long knees to the body. Good knee there. Needs to be careful. He doesn't stay oh. in range though. He keeps his concentration there. To, uh, to He's doing well at the moment though. Good low lock from in there. Strong needle from Wukong. Oh, good knees. He's struggling against the knees here. And if anything, the slower, another thing that will slow a puncher down. Those knees to the body, they'll suck the energy. Big knee again there from Chikar. Again. This might not go to the distance if Wu Kong can't stop those knees. He's got through with a good right hand there. Good elbow oh. from Chakar. Big right from Wu Kong. Desperately trying to leave the leg up there to stop those knees coming in. Wu Kong starting to breathe a little heavy. You said, oh, you see him fight on the weekdays, you know, if he, if he does suffer with stamina, this kind of start of fight, probably not going to shoot him at all. No. Oh, big knees again now coming in from Chakar. You never know with a puncher, it just takes one little moment, yeah. it's just one gap, one opening. Oh. Elbow. Ah. Coming through, clever though, using it very high guard. Big knee again from Chakar. Oh, oh good. the right hand there getting through, getting a nod from Chakar. And a strong right hand, big knee though there from Chakar. Again, end Whoa. of round two. Man, the champion, Muay Thai. Here we go, coming into the third and final round now, potentially. Of our, I can't see this one going to a draw, actually, no. to be honest, but it stays like it is. Uh, our First semi final, Chakart Singh Deta Jim there in the red corner. Very much in the driving seat at the moment. Wukong is he's struggling to stay out of that clinch and really land those big punches of his. Yeah. Here we go. Round number three. As you said, he's had, he always has a puncher's chance, but he's got to start throwing now. He's got, to, he's got to let them go at this point. Oh, 
with a stiff jab that time for Pony King. Oh, I'm not sure what that was. But I don't think he was there. <laughs> Whatever it was, it wasn't effective. <laughs> Judges are looking for effective shots. <laughs> Might have scored well in the ballet. Uh. <laughs> he just can't find the home for that no, big punch. Left foot going in there. Chikart pushing forward, looking to pressure him all the time here. Oh, big right there, big left hook. Wow. Again, Chakart shrugging it off. Needs to go for it. He's got nothing to lose. Two minutes here. Yeah. Uh, against going through the final with a chance of winning 50,000 or make, or going home with basically with uh, to, with nothing. Yeah. So, you know, no matter how tired he feels now, he's just got to go caution to the wind here. Left hook getting through. To just go for it, bite down on that gum shield, march forward and just, just throw everything at the chin of Chikar. Yeah. Oh! That was fancy again. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice pirouette there. <laughs> Stiff jab there. Yeah, well, he's doing what he has. He's trying everything at this point. Probably so. None of them look like they're no. going to stop a fight. Yeah. <laughs> and I would say at this point, he does need a knockdown. Just a little over a minute remaining to try and get it. Uh, oh, all time up in the push of knees again from the red corner. Here. Oh wow, powerful knees yeah. there turning around Wukong there. Corner of Chakart urging the push forward here. Got to give Chikot credit, he, or excuse me, Wukong credit, he's trying. Yeah. Just just hadn't found a home for anything. There's yeah. the right going in. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Chikot tying him up well there. Pumping the knees in. Have you made the wrong choice? That's what I want to know. No, I haven't. Chikot's looking great. My choice is still very, very solid. Your choice was... was uh, Chikot, no one heard that. I Dad, said, are you lying again? El Popo said that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More lies <laughs> every week. Compulsive lies. <laughs> There's the oh. bell to end the final round. We've gone down to pay respects to the older opponent. Some of the replays from that last round there. Oh, and that's what hurt Bob yeah. Wukong with the knees. He just couldn't, he had no answer for the touch. No. See the leverage and power he's getting to those knees there, Chikar. Great positioning in the clinch. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, but didn't land. เอาละครับและช่วงนี้เราไปลุ้นรางวัลกันดีกว่า It's time for fight the prize Max สนับสนุนโดย Max มวยไทย Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max มวยไทยสเตเดียมพัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max มวยไทย Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ No prize. Max Muay Thai Facebook page. All right, ladies and gentlemen. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner. Red corner, Shakar Singha Deshayim. สุดผู้ชมครับชกาดสิงหาเดชายิมจะได้ผ่านเข้าไปในรอบชิงแชมป์ในคู่ที่6นั่นเอง And Shakar Singha Deshayim has become our first tournament finalist. Stay tuned, we will find the opponent after the win. And this is the champion, Muay Thai! Man. The champion, Muay Thai! Returning to the Champion Muay Thai Four Man Tournament in the second semi-final of the 65kg Tournament Championship 
รดาปรองชนะเลิศในคู่ที่2นะครับกับรายการในแชมเปี้ยนมวยชยตัดเชืองรวมพิกัดน้ำหนัก65กิโลกรัมครับในมูลน้ำเงินคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดมหาสารคามสังกัดค่ายดาบดังสารคามเจียมเจ้าของฉายาจอมมูเมืองสารคามครับ Introducing our third challenger fighting out of the blue corner tonight, representing Mahasarakam Province, training out of the Brand Sarakam Gym, with professional records of 74 fights and 48 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dab Tong, Dab Brand Sarakam. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing Mahasarakam Province. Fighting out of the Brand Sarakam Gym. Let's see for Dab Tong, the Brand Sarakam. เราเดินมาดูนักชกในมุมแดงกันบ้างดีกว่าครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดสะแก้วสังกัดค่ายโชชัดชัยเจียมเจ้าของฉายาบรรทุนหินสะแก้วครับ And his opponent in the red card representing Sakyao Province, training out of Shaw Shat Shai Jim in Buriram, with professional records of 77 fights and 51 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yeo Dam Shaw Shat Shai. Fighting out of the red corner, representing Sakyao Province. Let's see for Yodam Shao Shatshai. Moving on to the second semi-final now to see who's going to face Chakan in the final later on tonight in the blue corner. The man that is already dead, Tom. Dead Tom, the dead friend. Surakam, his real name Tanakon Hojan. He's from Mahasarakam in the northeast of Thailand, 20 years of age, 175 centimeters tall, had 74 fights, 48 wins, 4 draws, 22 losses. His last four fights at max a points loss to Pet Sai Mun, Kai San Suk Jim. A points loss to Ahmed Mezzini from France. A points loss to Alessandro. Gibaldi from Italy and a point loss to Alessandro Gibaldi from Italy. Two back to back points losses. Ooh. Trends and facts of that run to account Jim in Mahasara Kam, where he's trained by Jan Bank and his manager by Roy Tamarut Ek Niran Yotsapon. So four losses in a row for your pick. Oh El Popo's pick. Your pick? You can't change now. I picked your cards. You didn't. Everyone knows. Everyone that's listening knows. What who a you fantastic picked. first fight. Yeo Dam Cho Chat Chai in the red corner. Your name Kukiat Wuti Wong from Sakyao to the east of Bataya. 17 years of age, 164 centimeters tall. He's at 77 fights, 51 wins, four draws, 22 losses. His last four fights to Max, a second round TKO loss to Suryai Misakawan. His third round TKO loss to Gen City Nongrat Kung Pao. A point, a draw, sorry, against Tungwon Singdacha did a points win over Una Goal from Myanmar. 20 points at a Chul Chak Chai Jimmy Burry Ram, who's trained by Lam Tong Tso Sayam Chai, and he's managed by Chak Chai Horaban. I'm not going with El Popo's pick this week because clearly he didn't do his research. He didn't research. You picked him already. You can't back out now. Can't go back on your pick. Evidence is already there. No one heard that. Everyone <laughs> heard it. Everyone that's watching heard it. Ooh, already both of these guys get the warning. I did figure whoever fought Wukong or Singdam in the first fight was going to have a hard fight 
unless they can stop him because he comes out swinging. Yeah, yeah. So he was going to push the pace. He's never got the chance to land, though, really. No. He did a good job of uh, soaking up the punches there. Jakar, very good defensively, and, and, and he used the effective weapon. He used his knees, slowed down uh, Wukong as well, punched the body. Now, when you've got a fight that you kind of know that maybe hasn't got the greatest stamina, the first thing you want to go for is the body. Oh, yeah. So, good tactics from uh, Jakar. Oh, big right hand from uh, Yildam there. Yeah, he looks like a puncher himself as yeah. well. He's got that kind of style. He'd be quite aggressive, hits hard. Yildam, the Black Hawk. The Black Hawk? Black Hawk, yeah. I like that. Kind of like the Black helicopter. Octopus or Tarantula. Like a helicopter. You said Hawk. A Hawk is Black a bird. Hawk. Have you never seen the movie Black Hawk Down? Are you American or what? Golly. Do you know the difference between a bird and a helicopter? <laughs> the Black Hawk helicopter. Oh my God! Oh. I don't believe it. Oh my gosh! Have you ever been in nature? <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite films. Was it about the Gurkhas? No, it was about the, hel the helicopter. It was about the U.S. Is it Marine Day? Oh, oh it's Somalia. Yeah. yeah, great film. End of oh. round one. Black Hawk down there. Man. The champion, Boy Tai. Here we go. Coming into the second round now of our second semi final. Dap Tong, Dap Ran Surakam in the blue corner. Yildam Cho Chat Chai in the red corner. I already like the way Yo Dom is punching. He yeah. seems to have big, big power, which could be dangerous for that time. He's not careful. Here we go, round number two. Is his punching more dangerous than you picking him to win the tournament? Though? Uh, I didn't pick Yo Dom. I no, picked Chikach. Thank you. You picked Dom Tom. Anyway, on to round number two. Ooh, good low kick. Uh, right hand from that top man. Oh, I gotta say, the big problem with these punches in the tournament, even if they don't win, the guy who gets past them, you gotta wonder, because those kind of punches can really scramble your brain yeah, yeah. going into the next round. So I wonder what, because some of the punches did get through on Chikai, so I wonder how his, maybe his head's holding up a little bit. Yeah. Good low kick there from Yoda. Oh yeah, you know, you take too many punches to the head, you know, you can, you, you can feel it, can't you? Yeah. Uh, Especially because you have to imagine, adrenaline's going to wear off in those next three yeah. fights. Oh, oh, beautiful right wow. hand there from Yildam, with me from Dark Tom now. I like Yildam. From the beginning, from the beginning, when I first walked into the building, I said he is fantastic. Got, I liked him for the tournament all along. You have got zero shame. <laughs> Shameless. Oh. Good low kick there from your down. Every but, week, every week we say it. You got to block. You got to block. Nice turn from in there. Oh, wow. Look at the leg. The left leg. Wow. Of that time. Oh, it's oh, bad. It's oh. bad. Yeah, it's looking like uh, very marked up already. Some swelling on it. Oh, good knee there from Yildam. Good takedown from him. If he gets out of this round, he's going to have problems. He better not sit down. <laughs> he, he need, if he does sit down, they've got to have a... Someone's already running to the 7-Eleven to get a oh. big bag full of ice. Pushing forward, though, Dark Tom. Oh. And a good hard low kick there, though, from Yildam. You think he would have learned his lesson here. Come forward, lift the leg up maybe on the way in. Oh, 
hood body could be or not. Oh! Sharp kick there from him. Down there. Oh, oh, another really? hard low kick going in. Oh, he's taking Again. too many. Good needle from Dark Tom now. End Ooh. of round two. Man, the champion, Boy Tai. Here we go, coming into round number three. Final round potentially, and this we get a draw here after this one. I can tell you what, I don't think Dab Tone's leg wants a, another round. No, not at all. He's been taking some real punishment on that leg. Not look like he's attempted to block a single low kick either, which has not helped his cause. Actually, I, I bet you Jakat is in the back, hoping Dab Tong gets through. Yeah, you know what he's going to come doing. <laughs> yeah. Coming the first round. Wow, they just used the whole tub of Vaseline on it. Here we go, round number three. Sharp push kicks here from Yodam. Dab Tong pushing forward. Yodam looking for the overhand right again. Good low lock from him here in the clinch. Throwing down Dab Tong there. Oh. Big knee there from Yoda. Yeah, that low lock there, smothering Dark Tom there. Ooh, oh, great. big body shot. Wow. You can hear that one. Real sun there. Is that left yeah. there in Left to the body there from Yodam again. Good low lock again from in there. He's like smothering well, isn't he? Yeah. I like to see Yodam do the old Mickey Ward. Was it? Yeah, the Mickey Ward. Up top of the left, look to the body. <laughs> <laughs> Referee taking an air across the back there. Starting to come forward in the clinch of it now. Dark Tom. Good knee there from him. Good sharp kick from Yodan, big knee from him. Trying to get that low lock in again. Just still half a round to go here. Now when someone has that low lock that like we just saw Yodan have, and he has the head buried in your chest, yeah. what, what, do you, what do you do for a guy like when that's happened to you? If you've you're got to try and make that space, but you've got to be very quick sometimes, you know, to, Kind of drop down yourself, drop down on your knees and like, just push your back out so you can't get that quick. If you can do it. And also, oh! there's a warning here for Yul Dump. That's oh, the last thing he needs in the final round. A minute to go here. He's blowing as well. Oh, no. What are you saying, oh, no? You picked his opponent. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And he's doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Big call cool out with your own lies. <laughs> Big kick oh. from Yul Dam there. Low lock again. Throwing down. Good knee from him there. 30 seconds left. Could go to the wire this one. I'm really impressed with Dad Tong's uh, fortitude because his leg has to be thriving. Oh. Right Big, beautiful body kick there from Yul Dam. Two good knees from Time now. Sharp kick from Yodam on the bell.
some of the replays there from that final round. Good, better round, a lot better round for Dark Tom in that round. Making it very close at the end there. เอาละครับและก่อนจะไปฟังผลการตัดสินนะครับเราไปลุ้นรางวัลกันดีกว่า It's time for Fight the Prize Max สนับสนุนโดย Max มวยไทย Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max มวยไทยสเตเดียมพัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max มวยไทย Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ฟิเตอร์สประบลูแอนด์เรดคอร์เนอร์แม็กซ์มวยไทยเฟซบุ๊กเพจชกกันไปแบบนี้มุมแดงและมุมน้ำเงินนะฮะรับไปเลยเงินละวันไฟเตอร์คนละ5000บาทบอลบอลจะวินเอฟเฟอร์ไพรส์ของ5000บาทอีชโอเคทุกท่านและทุกท่านหลังจากฟรีรอนส์ของแอคชั่นเราไปที่ผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะผู้ชนะOh, the nine. Wow. So we've got the extra, the dreaded draw. Wow. That, for me, it's going to suit the blue corner more. I don't know, but wow. I definitely think it's going to suit uh, Dark Tom more than it is Chachai. Wow. Uh, Yodam, I should say. Yodam Chor Chachai. The dreaded draw. Oh, Chakach is loving it. Yeah, without a doubt. He's, he's sat out there in the back smiling probably. Hoping that they're going to have a real brawling fourth round here. And it looks like they started right into the clinch. And Dark Tom, he's doing the right thing, Dark Tom, taking it into the clinch. Yodam was looking tired in the last round. Yodam coming in with some hard punches now. Oh, body kick. Just doesn't favor Dark Tom, he should get back into the clinch. Yeah. No, Big right make... hand again there. He's making a mistake. Good body kick from... Yodam. Yodam looking strong in the clinch now. Good knees from him. But is it that 30 second burst? Yeah, it's a long way to go yet. And he was looking tired at the end of the last round. Or was he really tired? Or was he Ooh. maybe thinking he was ahead yeah. and having a cheeky breather? Oh. If he was, it was a mistake. Yes. Good knee there. It's always best to make it clear cut. Finish strong. He's doing good in this round so far, and he's past the 30 second mark, yeah. so. Let's see. Or 30 seconds, excuse me. Good kick there from Yodam. Solid knees from him. Oh. Yeah, looks like that time maybe trading here. Yodam is some low knees in the clean. Coming low again there. Oh, both of these guys are exhausted. Yeah. Good kick there from Yodam. Strong lock from him. Whoever comes out on this one top really needs to hope that uh, the next three fights all go to decision. Yeah. Good knee there from Yodam. Just turn from in there. Oh yeah, because if it's three, and last night we had three first round knockouts, one after the other. So if it goes like that, oh. then you can't whoever wins this fight is going to be uh, feeling a little bit despondent. He, yeah, I think the old dummy here is uh, in control with this hit. He's kind of gone the, the opposite way than what I thought it would. So he's he almost oh. conceding defeat here at that time. Oh yeah, he's hurting. Good body kicks there. The old dummy pulled well ahead at this oh. point. 20 seconds to go here. There's nothing left in, uh, chat with uh, Dark Tom here. And I thought it was going to be the other way around. Yeah, he looks like he's about to fall over. Yeah, yeah he wants to concede. You see him just holding his glove up there. Your dumb wants to knock out. Go on this, I think. End of round three. Another one bites it us. The way to go, Yield Dumb. From the beginning, Shame you never picked him. From anyway, the beginning, Dark Tom, your pick has gone out yet again in the first round. Sorry, Johnny. From the beginning, I said your dime was great. So you picked Dark Tom, though. Anyway, <laughs> another great 
a couple of semi-finals out of the way. We've got the final to look forward to coming up shortly. Chikachi's We've got the three favorite. great fights before that, though. Yes. Number five, the return of Ultra. Yeah, your favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner! Red Corner, Yodam, Sean Shotshai! And Yodam, Sean Shotshai has become our second tournament finalist. Stay tuned! He will come back and fight with Shaka Singha Deshayim in the final fight of the night. Let's show on that, huh? Come on, ham pradet card, lay. Sir Thai, but ha lao. This is the deal. Got break card. The champion, Muay Thai Tanja. Man, the champion, Muay Thai. Welcome back to the Champion Muay Thai 4-man tournament. Now we have the fighters for the final fight of the 65kg tournament championship. We have Chakad Singha Desha Jim. He will clash with Gildam Sean Shachai. But now we will have our tournament finalists take a break to recover. And in the meantime, we will have three more ultimate fights. เอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับและตอนนี้นะครับเราได้คู่ชิงแชมป์แล้วได้แก่ชกาดสิงหาเดชายิมจะเจอกับเกียวดำชอชัดชัย <coughs> ทั้งคู่นะฮะเดี๋ยวจะมีสัมกันต่อในคู่ที่ 6 on to our third fight today at war between Thailand and Laos Introducing you with a blue corner representing Laos Training out of Kai San Suk Jim. He holds a professional record of 52 fights and 36 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pet Bun Choi, Malika Muay Thai. Welcome to your last year warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner, he's running at Kaisan So Jim in Shonbury. Let's hear it for Pet Bun Choi, Malika Muay Thai. And his high opponent in the red card, he comes from Peshaboon Province, training out of Tao Hui Rai Jim. We professional because of 57 fights and 33 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kong Dead, Tao Hui Rai. <laughs> Fighter fighting out of the red corner, he comes from Peshabu Province. Put your hands together for Kongde Tao Hui Rai. So, moving on now to the first of our three ultimate fights before the final of the four man tournament in the blue corner, Pep Bun Chue, Kuot Mung Pontong from Laos. His real name, Ham Tamasin. His name, Ham. Ham? Yeah. From Laos, 20 years of old. <laughs> 20 years of old. 20 years of age. 165 centimeters tall. He's had 52 fights, 36 wins, 16 losses. Last four fights to Max. Quite an impressive record. Second round TKO win over Wang Jun Chiu from China. Points win over Somat Paul Samran Chai. A points win over Quan Jai Ban Miranda. And a second round TKO win over Podamin Dongrian Sam Kok. Trains some fights at the Kai San Suk Jim. Unsurprisingly, here in Pattaya, he was trained by Mick Mysore and Lacon, managed by Malika Sansuk and Munkit Sansuk. Wow, wonder what gave away where he trained. Yeah, the fact that he's <laughs> Laotian, basically. Lao Town, as it's also known, Kai Sansuk, Tim. Strong contingent of Laotian fighters out there, Tim, though. Yeah, they've got some very good fighters in there, fighting out of Laos now. Trey, his opponent in the red corner, Kong Det Tohui Rai, his real name, Kong Ya Kam. 
from Pitchaburn in North of Thailand, 19 years of age, 167 oh. centimetres tall, with 57 fights, 33 wins, 6 draws and 18 losses. Last four fights at max, point to win over Sinin Sin Lung Patana, a draw against Kabilan Nikarajan from Malaysia, a points lost to Popeye Simbetagin, and a points lost to Yokum Suk Samun Ganyota. Trains in fights at Tohoi Rajin in Pechabun, where he's trained by Chanwit Yakam, who manages him, and also his father, manages him along with Sunset Kamran King. I think Mung Lao just recruits these guys to see if they have a little gang. Oh, he's, he's got a little, <laughs> little posse pos <laughs> in him. <laughs> they run the area they're in. Sharp jab there from uh, Pedro Chua. Good record though, two, four wins, two of them inside the distance. Can you do it again tonight? Oh, very aggressive so far, Pedro Chua. Are you, kick are you surprised? Well, yeah. <laughs> they tend to be true to form. The, the Laotian, the, the, the guys from Myanmar, and in particular the Cambodians, so they do bring a level of intensity to the fights here. No one can match the Cambodians, unfortunately. No, no one. No one. <laughs> no, they, they are a very, very special breed of fighters. Without them. Good knees here from Blue. Oh, good, good elbow. elbow, sharp knee there. He needs to watch it defensively. He's in a little open there, uh, Conde. Good lock here from Pepun Chui. And this is where typically the Laoisian fighters struggle in the clinch. Yeah. Sharp pushing it to the face there. Good elbow in there from Kevin Chui. Just swarming all over from uh, so far. Yeah. Breaking action here. Oh, just oh. 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 elbow on the bell from Kong Dek coming to life just before the end there. Man, the champion, Boy Tai. Here we go, coming into the second round now. Petrun Choi, two of Moon Ponton from Laos in the blue corner. Kongdet Tohoi Rai in the red corner. I gotta say, one of the things that is helping the Laotian fighters being a constant so because they do have uh, Boon Long and Boon Lai to really uh, learn the good Thai techniques from. Yeah, so that's gonna help them right. their game. Right. Got very good, solid, uh, stable of uh, all round, uh, really, uh, Kai Sen so, yeah, Lots of different styles, haven't they? Boon Long, uh, the Boon Lai, very slick technically. Oh, yeah. You've got he's, he's the leader of the posse, though, Mon now, who's just an absolute animal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of the most exciting fighters here at Max, and he has been for a long time, right at the top of uh, the excitement thermometer whenever he fights. I think him and Cooper Noy, Saxton's brother, have the record for bonuses. They're, 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 right. Right. they're right up there, I think, for the double yeah. super bonus. Ah, the well. double, yeah, yeah. I think they're equally as crazy as the same psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah, it's quite, it's quite possible. Yeah. Imagine if they were the same size. Oh, oh wow. Oh, beautiful turn there from Kong Death.
Oh, very nice take down there. And very good. Very clever in the free throws. And take down shots. Back he is again. I was getting swarmed there by a lot of good Big, powerful knees going on. This is a look on Kongak's <coughs> face. This is, he doesn't know what to do about this pressure. No. Constantly pushing forward. Big knee to the side again now. Oh! Running across the ring and I can take that out from the red corner. Oh, big knee there from Kongnet. Still marching forward, though. Not oh. Here comes the It's deserved. It's a well deserved warning, though. You can see backpedaling there. Wow. Kongnet. Relentless pressure from uh, Pepin Chur. Big knee to get from him to the side. Oh. End of round two. Man. The champion, Boy Tai. Here we go. Coming into the third and final round now. Been a very entertaining one. This one, Pepin Choi, Manika Muay Thai, or Pu Od Mung Pontong, in the blue corner. In the red corner, Kongget Tohui Rai. Still everything to go for here in the final round. Well, took a warning in the last round there, and deservedly so. Uh, yeah. Well, Yodam's got to be happy. Unless something drastic happens in this round. Great job by the referee. It wasn't quite good enough. It didn't go far enough for you. You would have been even happier, wouldn't you? If you'd uh, thrown it with a bit more power there. Good knees here for both the clips. A low lock here from Pepun Chui. Wow, just relentless look. knees again here from the blue corner. Good turn the knee though there from his opponent. Oh, good take down again there from Kongde. Gonna go right to the wire, I think, this one. Oh! Good elbow, Kongde. Another sharp knee there from the blue corner. Again. Oh, oh! Beautiful push kick to the face. Big knees again now from Pepu Choi. I gotta say, this is probably one of the best pushing displays I've seen from yeah. Oasis. It's good for both as well. It's not very nice. It's not, you know, it's not been one of those. Oh, what an elbow! It's not been one of those fights where you're watching the clinch and thinking, oh, I hope the referee gets in and breaks it down. Yeah. It's been non stop action. Wow. But I mean, I've never seen a Laoisian clinch this way. Well. No, right. This is impressive. Wow. Again from Blue, again. And for people at home that don't understand what you're watching, just go out there and grab your friend and just wrestle around for, for three minutes and just see if how that feels. If you can make three minutes. Yes, you can make it. Guaranteed after about 30 seconds, you're going to be huffing and puffing. <laughs> you know, it's a very, very grueling part of the sport. Yeah, you, you kind of get this uh, with a real, especially for kind of, I don't know, people in the West, they favor maybe kickboxing more. Oh, boy, they like to 
just hug each other in a clinch and take a breather. Oh. There's no taking a breather no. when you're in a clinch. Like that. that could be the most dangerous place to be because yeah. you can get hit with all kinds of stuff. That's right. Not to mention if you're against punters, so you would get thrown on your head too. Not just bad, just super bad. Oh, oh, so many fights. Yeah. <laughs> got that ability just to spin people around and. That's just a part of the game that the West just hasn't really come over to the West yeah. just yet. Well, I find it a little bit strange because there's so much in the, in the MMA fights, you know, the ground game is so predominant. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, the BJJ and uh, wrestling. Why there's no interest for it when they're standing up in wrestling. Yeah, very true. Probably because they don't have the, good, the level of, of ties over there yeah. to teach it. In the round three, great fight. Wow. elbow not long after very hard fought battle that one we will find out very very shortly now who is the winner before we go to the judges decision let's check out the final prize สนับสนุนโดย Max มวยไทย Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max มวยไทยสเตเดียมพัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max มวยไทย Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ไฟเตอร์ส for blue and red corner Max มวยไทย Facebook page โอ้ช็อกกันมาแบบนี้นะฮะมุมแดงและมุมน้ำเงินรับไปเลยเงินรางวัลไฟเตอร์คนละ 5,000 บาทบอลบอกจะวินเอฟไฟเนอร์พรีซ์ของ 5,000 บาทอีก Alright ladies and gentlemen after a few rounds of action for the winner red corner ของเดต If you play strong, you play a pass, pass, then no club. But when you get out, don't change the channel. We will come back after the break. This is the champion Muay Thai. Man, the champion Muay Thai. Welcome back to the champion Muay Thai show, and our fourth bout today at 51 kilograms. คู่ที่4ในค่ำคืนนี้นะฮะรูปพิกับน้ำหนัก51กิโลกรัมในมูลน้ำเงินครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดอุบลราชธานีสังกัดค่าย Max มวยชายเจียม Introducing a world blue card and card from Ubo Drash Tani Province. It's for ending out of Max Muay Thai Gym here in Chonburi. With professional records of 63 fights and 44 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please look up Mung Ubo Isan Tractor. He comes from Ubud Rajthani Province, training out of Max Muay Thai Gym. Let's hear from Mung Ubud, Isan Trakta. And in the middle of the night, this is from the city of Khon Gan, the Grisha Muay Thai Tak Chuk. Rupi Kanamak 51 kg, Sankat Kai Cho Chana Chip Jim. And his opponent in the red can he come from Kotkan Province, training out of Shoshana Tim Jim, with professional records of 86 fight and 65 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Falang Fon, Atit IAT. And entering the ring right now is the 51 kg Shaman representing Kankan Province, training out of Shoshana Tip Jim. Put your hands together and welcome Falang Fon at it IAT.
So now moving on to fight number four on our card tonight. And uh, two very talented young fighters here. Former champion four-man winner in the red corner. Introducing first, oh, in the blue corner, Mun Ubon, Isan Tractor. His real name, Willapon Uriwong. He's from, unsurprisingly, Ubon Ratchatani, Northeast Thailand. 26 years of age, 165 centimetres tall. He's had 63 fights, 44 wins, one draw, 18 losses. His last four fights at Max, a points loss to Tron Pet, Rongmir Mung Payalea Wittia. Second round TKO win of a Ting Pet War Wuti Chai. A points win of a Pet Si Tong Kwan Jai Si Kot from Laos. And a draw against Marmai Hub Tai Jong Jin. Trains and fighting with the Max Muay Thai Jim right here in Batai. Trained by Rambo. He's managed by Rambo along with Arsida Kotchilun Suk. His opponent in the red corner, Fa Lang Fon Tip IAT. His real name, Cameron. Pona from Konken, Northeast Thailand. 23 years of age, 155 centimetres tall. He's had 86 fights, 65 wins, 4 draws, and 17 losses. His last four fights are next a points win over Rumwitia Awus. First round TKO loss to Yodai Kiausamri. A points win against Pet Dam Pet Nopakao. And a points win over Tom Pet Saw Sakjara. Trains and fights have a Chor Chanatip uh, here in Bataya. He's trained by Deng Chai Chor Chanatip and he's managed by Sidi Chop, Mong Pataya. Wow, you got to hate this advantage. Yeah, yeah, very tall, uh, Mung Ubon. Looking to chop down with the low kicks there. Nicely timed push kick, but just knocks himself off balance at the same time. Balafong so crap, he's fun to watch. Yeah, very good technical fighter, very slick. No. Oh, Chris so he's not from the same stable as Ultra. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 he's not. T I I T is a he's like a sponsor gym, so. Oh. Uh, but there is a connection. I think the, the gym is very close. Oh, hard right hand there from. Balancon. Oh, good over here, right? Balancon. Again there from Far Lang Pon. He looks dangerous with that right hand. Definitely yeah. needs to keep his wits about him, uh Mung Ubon. Avoid that if he can. Oh, oh good. good punches now come in from Mung Ubon. Let the hands go here. To the second round, Far Lang Fon, a tip IAT there in the red corner. His opponent in the blue corner, Mong Ubon Isan Tractor. Wow. 
Oh, good right hand from Falun Fong. Sharp boxing here from the red corner. Just getting picked up a bit on the way in, but doing a good job there. Nice kick from Mung Oh, again, getting through with some slick hands here. Oh, good elbow there from Falun Fong. Turn in the pitch, a big knee there from Mung Ubon. You're not allowed to run back if you can take a step if you have the leg. You can take two steps, no more than two steps, and you have to do something. Okay. Or let go for a count. Either or forward or backwards. Yeah. Now, in the golden era, you could run, correct? You could run the push the Yeah, you used to pull it or the plow. That's yeah. the name of the technique. I remember you showing the video to the uh, the fighter that tried it, why they got this problem. That's why they stopped him. Uh, uh, Rainbow Sword Panther Lady caught uh, Ben right in the ring. And then it was Rainbow that caught the kick from Ben and he ran him across the ring. Threw him into the ropes. Then he jumped up and went to hike him. Ben just ducked. He just sailed over the ring, hit oh. his head on the floor, knocked himself out. Oh. And after that, he could never use it. It, 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 it made it difficult for some certain, certain fighter, Nump Nump Kabor, Nump Kabor, Nump Nump the uh, Pahiyu. He was, he was known as John Tai Nao, the, the, you know, the king of the plow. Oh, plow, really? The plow king. The plow king is in the Simpsons, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and, and he, he, kind of, he, he, he was the, the king of that, catching up on the kick, throwing him in the ropes, and then oh. jumping him in the knee. John Tai Nao was his nickname. Did that hurt him later on without yeah, having yeah, that technique? Yeah, yeah, I think he did a bit. Good, he fell apart. Trying to stand his ground here. Very fast pace. He's got a great turn wow. there from Falun Gong. Falun Gong coming in with the left hook there. End of round two. Man. The champion, Boy Tai. Here we go. Coming into the third and final round. Yeah, great fight, this one. Great technical fight. there from we'll move on come out swinging here in the final round nice left hook there though from Farlang Fon right hand from Fon oh good cut there from the blue box Strong kick from Blue. Balafon's still doing well from the outside against yeah, the tall fighters. Very good control with the ring. He's, he's 
punching again, very accurate, big left hook there. Beautiful counter there from Farland Pond. And I'll move on getting through with a few good kicks here though. Wow, beautiful timing there for that wow. spin was just perfection. Perfection. Wow. Valentine is really controlling this round. Yeah. Hands go up in there. Not afraid to stand right in front of uh, Mungub on here, is he? Not at yeah, all. Those hands go. Good turn there, following me from Valentine. There's the bell wow. to end the final round. Great fight. Show the love and one we said you can grab now. Let's check out the final prize. Max. สนับสนุนโดย Max Muay Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max Muay Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max Muay Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ไฟเตอร์สฟอร์บลูและเรดคอร์เนอร์ Max มวยไทย Facebook Page เลือดแบบนี้นะฮะรับไปเลยในรางวัลไฟเตอร์คนละ 5,000 บาทโบบงซ์เซอร์วินเนอร์ไฟเตอร์พรีซ์ 5,000 บาทอีช Alright ladies and gentlemen after three rounds of action for the winner Red Corner อย่าเพิ่งเปลี่ยนช่องนี้ไปเลยครับช่วงหน้าศึกแชมป์ชนแชมป์ดาวชัยนิชัยน์ coming up next a battle of two champions this is the champion Muay Thai man the champion Muay Thai welcome back to the champion Muay Thai show and our fifth bout tonight a battle of two champions คู่ที่5ในค่ำคืนนี้นะครับต้องบอกคุณผู้ชมว่าคู่นี้คือศึกแชมป์ชนแชมป์นั่นเองฮะรูดพิกกับน้ำหนัก58กิโลกรัมในมูน้ำเงินครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดอุบลราชธานีสกัดไทยสัชานีเสถียรมวยชัยเจียมเจ้าของฉายาไอ้หมัดปืนใหญ่ดีกรีแชมป์มวยไทยไทยตัดเชือกรูดพิกกับน้ำหนัก 58.5 กิโลกรัมครับ Introducing our blue corner representing Ubon Rush Chani Province. He's training out of Saktani Sathya and Muay Thai Gym in Bangkok. With professional records of 97 fights and 59 victories. This guy is the 58.5 kg shaman, aka the Cannon Punches. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Petnarin Sathya and Muay Thai. Of it, of course, they broke with another round of champion. And entering the ring right now is the 58.5 kilogram champion, aka the Cannon Punches, representing Ubon Rush Chinese Province. 
พื้นที่ Hands Together for p a t e r i n เสถียรมวยไทยและแชมป์อีกหนึ่งคนนะฮะเราไปดูกันดีกว่าคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดอุดรธานีทางกัดค่ายสิริรัตน์มวยไทยเยี่ยมเจ้าของฉายายอดมวยที่รับสูงดีกรีแชมป์มวยไทยตัดเชือกรูปพิกัดน้ำหนัก51กิโลกรัมนั่นเองครับ And his opponent in the red corner, he's the 51 kg champion, representing Udon Thani Province and training out of s i l i l a t Muay Thai Gym. We professionally got some 68 fights and 48 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Udra Atit I.N.T. Representing Udon Thani Province tonight, he wants to be the fifth by five champion in this arena. Udra Atit I N T. So moving on now to outside of our tournament, our main event tonight. Introduce him first in the blue corner, Pet Nari Satya Muay Thai. 24 years of age from Uba Matitani, Northeast Thailand. Real name Nadim Kani. He's 170 centimeters tall. Had 97 fights, 59 wins, 7 draws, 31 losses. Last four fights at max a first round KO win against Setmon Kon Chor Deta, a draw against Yim Su Kon from Cambodia, first, a second round TKO win over Yusuke. Otahara from Japan and a draw against Kompichit Nayok E Tesaban Lin Fa. Train some fights out of Satsak Tani Satian Muay Thai Gym in Bangkok, where he's trained by Pet Chu Chip Sak Tani and he's managed by Wirat Tani. That fight with you is the fight of the century. Uh, unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Possibly one of the best fights I think I've ever seen, I have to say. Wow. His opponent in the red corner. I'm not going to be able to tell you too much about his opponent because for some reason the profiles I've got here, I've got two profiles for Allow Petner me. in. But in the red corner we have Ultra Atit IAT. He's from Udon Thani, North East Thailand. He's wearing the belt that I picked him to win. You didn't pick him to win that. It long before you was allowed. It, it, you was, long before you was working for Max and the amount of time I should have had to the <laughs> to the immigration bill not to let you in the country. But unfortunately I didn't. And now look at me, <laughs> what I've got to put up with every week. <laughs> anyway, very slick ultra, very talented fighter. Very explosive with his high kicks, stabbing long knees. He's in the epitome of a fighter that doesn't always push forward all the time, yeah. but, but he very rarely gets a warning for going back. He's just got that great lateral movement. Sharp, hard, right kick from him there. And he has calves that don't fit his body proportions. Yeah. <laughs> Caricature cops. And Petnaran is, is the perfect style I mean, for Ultra to really showcase his skill. Yeah. Hard wow. wow, elbow from Petnaran now. Hard uh, low kick from Petnaran. Taking some time to figure out Pet Petnarin. Yeah, sharp push kick there from uh, Petnarin, but Ultra so far not in trouble yet. Beautiful technique there, catching the kick, climbing up. He's crazy though, Petnarin. He really does love a war. Oh, yeah. One of those fighters that just really does fit that saying. He's never in a dull fight. Never. The problem is, Ultra was not going to accommodate in that no, kind of fight. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, left foot. There. So far, he's doing a decent job over here, Petnery. Not giving Oof. Ultra much time there. Good elbow there from Ultra. Sharp push kick from Petnery. Strongly 
Lee there from the red corner. Oh, beautiful knee again from Ultra. Oh, the old kick from Petner in that time. Good knee from Ultra there. Petner in pushing in. Oh, he had a sharp knee there from Ultra. Again. That very explosive with that long knee and he just yeah. times it beautifully. Petner in still pushing forward. Oh, looking on settling here. End of round one. The champion, Muay Thai! Good being aggressive, but unfortunately, that's what Ultra wants. Plays right into his hands and moves. Here we go. Pushing forward again here, Pet. Wow. Punches here from Pentarin, really fired up, yeah. really taking it. Oh, Ultra not enjoying it here. This oh, we got Ultra cut. Oh, oh I'm left hook there from Pentarin. Oh, it's a cut on the nose. He's not enjoying this at all there, Ultra. Is this the pressure? Yeah. Wow. Really fired up here as well, Pentarin. Big right hand there, going for the left hook. Oh, oh big left hook there. Ultra is not having it his own way at all tonight, not looking as anywhere as near as slick as he normally does either. Look at Petty Run aggressive. Wow! Big Great body punch. shot from him. Big knees now from Petty Ring. Another hard elbow there. Ultra is wow. falling apart at the moment. Good elbow again through the guard there from Petty Ring. Big! Knee there, low lock from him here. I don't think Ultra's ever faced this with this kind of adversity like no. this. No. His nose is straight. It's broken. Him. I think it's maybe broken. He keeps rubbing it. Cut up on the top. Blood streaming out of the mushrooms as well. Good low kick there from Petterin. Oh, wow. But you can never rub all Ultra out. We haven't seen a high kick from him yet. Good knee from him there. Another big knee. Hard elbow from Petterin. What can you say about Petterin? Like I said before, never in his old form. He opposed his will. Oh, trip to the doctor. Gonna be a trip over to the doctor here. And he looks a bit despondent here, Ultra. The nose looks a mess. Going on the elbow again, a good kick from Ultra there. Elbow for Petrin again, big knee from Ultra. What a fight we see here. Oh, Body shot from Petnarin. Low lock from him there as well. Blood streaming out the nose of Ultra here. There's the bell to wow. end round number 
two. Man. The champion, Muay Thai. Okay, coming into the third and final round of what has been an explosive thriller. fight. Wow. It's been a thriller. Never seen Ultra push like he's being pushed now. Pet Noren is in prime form. Wow. Both fighters. Good elbow again from Pat Naran. Another one. Oh, oh, fast high kick attempt there from Ultra. Pat Naran coming in low in the clinch. Give me a moment to go from Ultra. Pushing forward again here, Pat Naran. Wow. Ultra there, Ultra with another sharp long knee. Off balance again there by the tenacity of Pentner in here. Coming up straight after this fight, we have our final of our foreman. Sharp elbow there from Pentner in again. He's in on the back foot here. Again, Ultra, another good knee for Pentner in. Pentner in style doesn't lend itself to a lengthy career, I'll just say that. No, <laughs> no not at all. And if you fight him, it doesn't help your career either. <laughs> Either way, there's a chance you're going to end up one of them uh, having conversations with that person. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, but they're definitely these kind of fights, they wear the heart on the sleeve, you know. You've, oh. you've, you've got to admire them. You, you worry a bit. But yeah. They're, they're definitely, they come in, they don't take advantage of anyone. They put on an absolute show. Hard left up to the body there for now. Ultra. Oh, backing up again here. He doesn't look like it's a trade at all, does he? Oh, no. Smart, smart decision for him. Jab well. Big left hook from Henry. He spoke so much about ultra lateral movement, but here he's so yeah. uh, out of it that he's actually, he might get a warning. Good right hand there from Henry. It just, it just looks like his heart's not in it at all, here, does it? No. And I'm sure a lot of those right hands and elbows and pressure of Petner Ren have uh, helped. <laughs> Good body kick there from Petner Ren. Another hard right hand from him. So, 45 seconds ago here. Petner Ren eased up a bit here. Sharp push kick from him. Oh, More hard body shots there from Petner in. But, you know, but to be fair to Ultra as well, I mean, he's had to fight this fight with a, with a, a nose that looks yeah. very damaged, isn't it? Got a cut on the side of the nose, looks like maybe broken as well. I mean, it goes down as a great, great performance from Petner in. Wow. Yeah. He's in that push kick well there to off balance. Uh, Unsettle uh, Ultra. There is about to end the final round. Great fight. Shooty Lobby Lulu and VC, you're gonna come now. Let's check out the final prize. Max. สนับสนุนโดย Max Muay Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max Muay Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max Muay Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ไฟเตอร์ส์ฟอร์บลูคอร์เดอร์เรดคอร์เนอร์โนไพรส์แม็กซ์มวยไทยเฟซบุ๊กเพจมุมน้ำเงินนะฮะรับไปเลยเงินรางวัลไฟเตอร์ 5,000 บาท
Who's gonna win a final prize of 5,000 baht? Ladies and gentlemen, after a thrill out of action, for the winner! Blue Shana! Pendolin is up to you, Muay Thai Gym! อย่าเพิ่งเปลี่ยนช่องนี้ไปเลยครับช่วงหน้าร่วมกันเป็นสกีพยานในรอบชิงชนะเลิศรุ่นพิกัดน้ำหนัก65กิโลกรัม Don't go anywhere winners the final fight of the 65 kilogram tournament championship When we come back this is the champion Muay Thai Man the champion Muay Thai You are watching the Champion Muay Thai 4-man tournament live from Max Muay Thai Stadium in Thailand And now a moment that you have been waiting for The final fight of the 65 kg tournament championship Who will be the champion? Let's find out! เอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับแล้วตอนนี้ถึงช่วงเวลาสำคัญที่คุณผู้ชมทุกท่านรอคอยแล้วนะครับเพราะว่านี่คือคู่ชิงช้ำของเรารูปพิกันน้ำหนัก65กิโลกรัม And our first tournament finally representing Sakao. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Yeodam Cho Shan Chai! Let's give him a big round of applause! Entering the ring right now is your first tournament finalist, representing Sakao Province. Let's hear for Yeodam, Sean Shachai! And his supporter in the red corner, representing Bukrilam. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shikar Sikha Deshajian! And as we do ring one as you ran corner representing Purinam Province. Let's hear for Shikhan Singha De Shajim. So here we have it, the fight we've been waiting for tonight, the final of our four-man tournament. In the blue corner we have Yildam Chor Chachai. In the red corner, Chakat Singh De Chajim. You'd have to say Chakart probably had the easier fight in there, the two. Yeah. yeah. Shame you never listened and picked him right from the start. I'm so Shame glad I mind. did. You didn't. You saw what? the messages. Everyone knows. Everyone knows because they listen to you. Change your mind. No one heard on. No one heard that. But how much power does your dime have left in him? Yeah, four, four round fight for him. Good sharp left body kick there. Switched to southpaw early on here. Starting his orthodox. Gone straight to the southpaw stance here. Body kick. Well, not really overly aggressive, he's no. looking at control as well. I think Chikachi, he can just kind of pick him apart on his way to an easy victory. 
tournament final this week been an interesting intriguing matchup so far still plenty to go here in this uh, tournament I think I like, I like to see your Dom really step it up this round with his punches yeah looks like he's got the power to her uh, Stepping knee this whole tournament. Yes. Especially in the semi final in particular. That's the knee there from the group there. Elbow in now. Both in the place here, I think. Oh, yeah. But Yildon had the harder fights, so yeah. I'm sure he's, his gas tank is probably a little less than Chicago's coming. You never know, though. You know, some fighters that just they've got that match, they've got a bigger gas tank. That is true. I've seen some guys that had absolute wars of four rounds. Now, that's the guy that's had a first round knockout. Very right? true. Everyone has their own kind of uh, level of. Oh, good right hand there from Jakar. Big left hook, big right hand there He's from... He's got to do more! Gildan. Big 
right from Chikar. Beautiful take down there, right on the belt. End of round two. Man. The champion, Muay Thai. One more round potentially to go here oh, before we find out if we're going to have a winner of 60, 50, sorry, 1,000 baht. I hope they didn't hear me say 60, then they might try and uh, claim it. Yeah, they'll be coming to you for the extra 10,000. They won't be getting it. <laughs> They're going to have to be very quick to catch me when it comes to money. He got to do more. He just, yeah. He's got. He's got to do more. He's just. He looked good in the second half of that last round. So yeah. attack to cut high a bit. There's the one, the left hook straight by it. Very nice. Pushing forward again here. Sharp left kick from Yoga. I was going to say before that kick, you become punch happy and almost forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. body kick there. Shot, check up. Needs to start pushing forward a bit more now. Start opening up a bit more. Low kick from in there. Performances there. So, I think we're going to see a fourth round here again, not quite possibly. Oh, who does that favor? Whoa! Yeah. Are both these guys really giving it their all? And who's got that little bit left in the tank to, that's going to be just enough to see him through? That's a, obviously if I'm yeah. on right. Chikan, no, it's probably got to be the, 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 the favorite. Yeah. Chikan, because, I mean, I picked him, and that's you a did, big help you for him. You didn't pick him, so. It's time for Fight the Prize. สนับสนุนโดย Max Muay Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max Muay Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max Muay Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้
Fighters for Blue and Red Corner Max มวยไทย Facebook Page ในแลมูน้ำเงินนะฮะรับไปเลยรางวัลไฟเตอร์คนละ 5,000 บาทโดนบุกสู่ winner final prize of 5,000 บาท each alright ladies and gentlemen after three rounds of action we go to the judges scorecard for the winner d r a w s b r up one more round ชกต่ออีกหนึ่งยกนะครับ Will y o d a m Will he feel the, the the pace of the first fight and this one now in this well, fourth you, round? We, we we said it in the first fight when he got the draw, he was looking very tired at the end of the third round. But yeah. he came out and he bossed the fourth the fourth round. That is true. Let's see if he can dig deep again. Yes. Sharp kick. c h i c a r n o i Body kit. I mean, both fights should be just going for it. Yeah, it's just three minutes to really make a statement. Here. There won't be another round. It's all down to this three minutes here. And that is a lot of money on the line. Yeah, and it's twenty thousand b a t difference. Yeah, fifty thousand for the winner, thirty thousand for the runner-up. So. Well done so far, making the running. Hard overhand right from the net. Good low lock from in there. Oh! Taken down to Carr. Good knee there from Will d u n Taking to Carr again. Oh! Going out the ring there. Will d u n one leg out the ring. And to Carr. Going straight outside. Solid knees there again. Three good knees from him. Sharp kick from the blue corner. Good overhand right. The c a r coming in with some nice kicks up. Just when he gets that low lock there, he struggles yeah. a bit to c a r doesn't he? Well, I mean, just look how low your damn center of gravity yeah, is. Yeah, short and p u t t i n g there back in there. <laughs> It's always awkward for the taller fight when they get the lock around the waist like that. Just over a minute to go. Good kick there from Neil d u n Oh, that's t i g h t He's on the Is that a sign of legs are gone? I think it is. He's having a big deep here. Has he been doing his road work? Good knee oh. from Neil d u n there. Can't get in a good position there, but I'm able to get any knees off there. 45 seconds left. Overhand right from y o u r d u m now. Good body kick from him. Nice right hand from c h a k a r Oh, yeah, no, taken down. They almost take down out the ring again there. The leg, the legs were gone, I believe, in c h a k a r Yeah. Fighting on heart and instinct at the moment. Trying to get forward. Sharp push kick there from y o u r d a m Good body kick from y o u r d a m there. Oh, n i c e turn again there from the blue corner. Almost at the end here. Both having a look over at the clock there. There's the bell to end the final round, and you can see the body language there. Yeah. It tells a story, d o e s n t it? Yeah. c h a k a r hanging over the ropes there, looking despondent. 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 Yes. It's a new word I've just made up. It means that Dorian has got it wrong again. Because I picked Yo Down. What a way to go! I'm so proud of myself. Yo Down and I. Will How can anyone noodles. be proud when they lie so shamelessly? I do not know. f i f t baht. We'll be eating duck noodles tonight. Way to go, Yo Down. <laughs> <laughs> I will l i e เนื่องจากผู้ชนะนั้นมีได้เพียงแค่หนึ่งเดียวครับหลังจากผ่านไป4ยกเราไปฟังผลคำตัดสินจากคณะกรรมการกันดีกว่า Ladies and gentlemen of the four rounds of action we go to the judges scorecard for the winner for the 65 kilogram champion blue corner เยี่ยวดำชอชักชัยเอาละครับและในโอกาสนี้นะครับขอเรียนเชิญดาบตำรวจอภิชิตท่อนแก้วครับ
นี้นะครับแล้วนะครับไปขอเรียกเชิญคุณสุชาติสิริอนันต์ชัยกุลผู้จัดการขายออทเทรดภาพการขายที่2ตัวแทนผลิตภัณฑ์เครื่องดื่มปลาช้างนะครับและลำดับลำดับถัดไปที่ขาดไม่ได้เลยขอเรียกเชิญคุณธงทรงเป็นทรัพย์รองประธานบริษัทแม็กซ์มวยไทยจำกัดขึ้นมามอบรางวัลบนเวทีนะครับเอาละครับสำหรับรองเชิญเลิศจะได้รับเงินรางวัล 30,000 บาทขอได้เชิญดับตำรวจอภิชิตพันแก้วเป็นผู้มอบครับเอาละครับขอเสียงปรบมือดังๆครับลำดับถัดไปขอได้เชิญคุณสุชาติสิริอนันต์เชยกุลผู้จัดการขายอามเทรดพระการขายที่2ตัวแทนจากผลิตภัณฑ์เครื่องดื่มตราช้างมอบเงินรางวัล 50,000 บาทให้กับผู้ชนะของเรามาถึงช่วงเวลาสําคัญของขอเรียนเชิญรองประธานบริษัทแม็กซ์มวยเทยจำกัดคุณทงโซเปียนซับคาดเกมขัดในแชมเปี้ยนมวยไทยแต่เชื่อให้กับนักช่องในมุนทองเงินครับเยี่ยวดำช้อนชดชัยเอาละครับก่อนที่เราจะลากันไปนะฮะต้องขอคุณ The Champion Muay Thai Welcome back to the Champion Muay Thai Show in our 7 bars to net 52 kilograms ผู้ที่เขียนในค่ำคืนนี้นะฮะรูปพิกับน้ำหนัก52กิโลกรัมในมุมน้ำเงินครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดพิจิตรสังกัดทายสิทธิ์เจมี่เอลเจียม Introducing our blue card and come from Pichit Province, training out of Sid Jamie Ojim. We professional because of 31 fights and 22 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome yesterday, Sid Jamie. Let's hear for your name, Sid Jamil. And in the middle of the night, oh, this is a new house. I'm the owner of the house. I'm from the city of the city. 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 And he's a boy in the red car. He's training out of the city of the city. I'm from the city of the city. We're from the city of the city. We're from the city of the city. We're from the city of the city. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sanchai World Division Sibet. And entering the ring right now is your red corner. He comes from Sovereign Province, training out of World Division 11 gym. Let's hear for Sunshine World Division Sibet. So one more fight to go on our card tonight. Introducing first in the blue corner. Yotsune Sit J Mill, real name Sunshine Pitasso. Pichit, Northern Thailand, 17 years of age, 165 centimetres tall, set 31 fights, 22 wins, one draw, eight losses. Last four fights and max of points lost at Kun Kinki from Hong Kong. Points win over Ki Kong from Laos. The first round KO win over Pet Mai Chor Tanatip. And the first round TKO win over Kong Siam Sid Sarawak Dep. Turns and fights at Sid J. Mill, Jim in Pichit, Northern Thailand. By Jay Mill. His opponent in the red corner. San Chai, War Division 11. His real name, Sang Chai Kua Niam from Surin, North East Island, 22 years of age, 160 centimeters tall. He's had 38 fights, 21 wins, two draws, and 15 losses. His last three fights in Mexico, first round TKO win of a pet, Carlon. And Sa, second round TKO loss to Pet Wan Di Sit Pet Borai. Points lost to Teng Nen Oto Kong In. Trains and fights at World Division 11 Jimin Chatun Tao. We're trained by Bun Lai Sol Tanikun. He's managed by Pang To Wan Chai Kong Aram. Aram, sorry. And Pong Choi Borai Yu. Yao Wee Bun. 
I don't know what Boon Lai is doing over there at War Division 11, but these guys can punch. Yeah. Wow. So he was a bit more of a point femur, but very good all round. Uh, very sharp hands himself at this time. He's definitely give him the, giving him the punch in, uh, from his uh, yeah. from his game because these guys, not always the most technical, not all of them. You see some yeah. very, very technical ones, but in terms of their punching skill, wow. Let's look there. Throw away yeah. from Sanchai. Yeah. I mean, these guys have bad intentions in their punches. I forget which was earlier in the week it was a guy from War Division 11 and I mean he must have been like the Ty Roberto Duran or something. <laughs> Manos de Piedra. The hands are slow. Oh, he can punch. <laughs> what a fire he was, Roberto Duran. Wow. Oh yeah. Definitely looks like he wants to finish it early if he can here, Sanchai. Low picks from him now. Make sure you start blocking him, Yogson, eh? Oh! Where did that come from? Whoa! Looping overhand rights here from Yogson, eh? Really swinging in here. Wow! I'm gonna make a wild rush prediction here. This one ain't gonna go to this. <laughs> oh, no! Big wow. rights again. Sancho in trouble here. Wow! Shelling up here. It's but... like the Ricardo Mayorga of Pat Boxing. <laughs> in the count oh. here. Overwhelmed there. The original overhand right. You can see there straight away he felt it. His legs are uh, struggling to keep him. Where he wanted to be. Oh my big goodness. Big right is on there. Big left hook is coming in. Another big right hand there. Clinch! He needs to clinch, grab him. He's either clinch or throw something back. A big elbow or oh. a kidney. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness! Getting through with the right hand himself. Oh. There, but another count. No, no way. way. The referee pulling it off in the opening round. Oh my goodness. Wow! Yeah, not a lot of skill there, not a lot of technique. No! <laughs> right, overhand right there was very, very effective. I guess when you can punch hard, you don't need too much technique. No, 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 no. <laughs> land like that and do that wow. to your opponent, you, you don't need to be a silky, smooth, uh, stylish fighter. At the end, oh. I, I thought he was coming forward to clinch, but he really he just wanted to fall down. <laughs> he, he landed with the right himself at the same time. Oh! Uh, obviously, uh, opponents one is a lot more effective there you just saw him nodding his head oh, wow. oh. Oh. that was almost a double knockdown there wow. wouldn't that be strange to see yeah only idiots are involved with double knockdowns yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, there's... all right before we go to the judge decision and now it's time for friend the prize สนับสนุนโดย Max มวยไทย Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max มวยไทย Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max มวยไทย Official ได้แล้ววันนี้โนไพรส์แม็กซ์มวยไทย Facebook Page Ladies and gentlemen after the two rounds of action and the winner by way of Jenny c o n n o c k o u t Blue c o n n o r Your name is Sid Jamil All right, you can watch this Champion Muay Thai f o r m a n Tournament on every Saturday night 6 p.m. Thai time on Amarin TV HD Channel 34 in Thailand and you can watch it in high quality streaming anywhere and ever on the Max Muay Thai Online please visit MaxMuayThai.com for more information thanks for watching see you next time สวัสดีครับ